Quantum, Holy Knights have to be top tier. Possible, yes. The fact that Oda uh, allocated panels to three figure lands is, uh, and one silhouette is a testament to their strength. I don't know. Like, for example, like, maybe this is like, maybe this guy is not a silhouette. Maybe he's a giant. Maybe he's a, 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 a guy from Elbath. Like, he's Loki or he's Odin or he's Thor, right? You know, maybe he's a giant. Who knows? Uh, maybe he's Frigga Land, but it, 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 it could be Stabs. It could be Thor. I have no idea. But what I'm trying to get here is that, so like there's one, maybe, maybe Scott, Scott for Gabon. Ah, uh -huh, maybe. But we do have two figure lands in Shanks and in Garling. That matters. Because their family seems to be super important to like, let's say the creation of the world government itself, potentially. Um, like deeply invented that stuff, potentially. Throw the sword, who knows? Throw the hammer? Then, then, then Odin. Or Loki. Maybe, maybe it's Loki, who knows? Again, like almost says that I don't know who this person is, but they're important. They're very, they're very, 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 very important. Very important. Bro. A four-way, not even, a, a three-way battle. A three-way fight between Luffy, Shanks, and Blackbeard. Luffy's only getting stronger and stronger and stronger. Blackbeard, who has these crazy two powers. Shanks, who is the greatest hockey nigga on the planet. It's gonna be stupid. It's gonna be actually stupid, bro. Damn. Akainu versus Sabo. Skull, skull. Oh my God. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Dragon pulling up on Garling? How heavy of a panel would that be? Dragon cape in the wind, flap, garling, mad menacing. So you finally come, nigga. Yeah. Oh my god. Uh, ew. Okay. It's gonna be just nuts. Though the question is Emu though. Where does Emu fit in all this? We'll find out. This man said Higuma. Ah! Ah! Yes, yeah, true. True. What is oh, emu is the mystery? Emu is like actually a bigger mystery than this guy is, honestly, probably. <laughs> Code one XZ, appreciate you for the uh two hours. Shanks rat agenda officially over. Uh, it was the bro, maybe it could be the bro, it could be the bro. We have to find out though. All right, we again, it could be random giant Elbath. If it is stabs, then fuck it, stabs, but we have to find out. Gundam Beast five Cole, if you replace one person at the bottom, who would it be? Replace one person. I would replace. I would take Kuzan out, and replace Kuzan for Vivi. That's what I would do. So, but she's already up here though. She's she's already over here though, right? But if I could, I would actually get rid of Vivi and I'd put uh over here. I'd put her down there. Personally, Vivi it, Vivi matters more. Vivi is D Clan. She is. Related to a Princess Lily, who Emu goes horny over for some fucking reason. That matters a lot. And she's being hunted down right now. So, and Sabo, Vivi, we're going to have a D-Clan conversation. Vivi's plot is massively important, all right? To the One Piece itself, because Vivi is D-Clan. And honestly, Vivi, because it all depends on Lily. It depends on Lily and how that ties in Emu, which ties then, which then ties it to Vivi. All right, that's all I'd say, personally. Uh, Kuzan to me is kind of weird. I don't know why he's here. Like, how does Kuzan matter for the One Piece per se? I, I don't know. He's just there. Insofar as like he's Blackbeard's, you know, bitch. So, sword. Everything that Kuzan is, it's gonna sound crazy, but everything that Kuzan is, Kobe matters more. I know that sounds crazy, but Kobe matters. He is gonna be like. The, 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 the Marine hero of the future to like rally the Marines, warm the hearts of civilians, things of that sort, right? Like Kuzan, that's why Garb glazed Kobe because Kobe's gonna be quintessential for Marine stability and Marine change in the future. Kuzan abandoned the Marines and joined the Blackbeard Pirates, bro. And people know of that. They know that he's done this. They, People can't rap on Kuzan like that. No, they can't do that. 
Kobe's gonna like again, he's gonna be a huge staple, a huge pillar for the Marines and their system in the future. Kuzan? Uh, eh, maybe. Yeah, Kobe's the future. He is. Pink Mamba stocks? Okay. I think Kobe's going to take over after Luffy beats Akainu until Yeah, maybe something like that. Like it sounds crazy, but people because we saw that during the arc. I mean, uh, during the um, uh, Full Island. Yeah, during, no, d during this arc, during Full Island stuff. People across the world fucking love Kobe. They love this dude. They love him. I think even, like, Rebecca and Kobe had some synergy going on there. Like, they love Kobe. They do. So, to me, it's like, K K Kuzan is, like, almost a failed product of Kobe, which sounds weird, but it's like, it's not in terms of power, but insofar as, like, Marine presence and being a hero for the people and 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 and, and um uh stuff like that. Hi, what's up, dude? But yeah, I'll I'll place Kuzan. Kuzan makes make, makes least sense. And I don't know who you are, dog. <laughs> I don't know who you are, my nigga. Who are you? Who? 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 Nah. Okay. Do you believe that Big Mom will return Elbaf, or will Elbaf have its own personal threat? And if there are multiple Sky Islands being holed up by Adam Tree to signify Yujiso, which ties to uh, Uro, uh, Erosion and uh, Sasuke, that's a lot. That's a lot right there. I, okay, here's here's my short of it. Okay, I think that Big Mom makes the most sense to come back in Elbaf because I think her character is fully complete when she's in when she's in Elbaf. Big Mom, I think is the best choice. To come back as like a main adversary. You can have side adversaries, like you can have Thor, you can have, well, not Thor, let's say Loki. You can have Loki be like a side villain. And I'm actually very, because I like the idea a lot of, uh, of there being factions in Elbaf, where you have the Nika guys and you have the anti-Nika guys. You have the, maybe like the demon dudes. Because if you, here I go again. If you watch Film Red, oh yeah. If you watch Film Red, there is a there is a mural of Top Musica, right? And it explains how he came to be, and things of that sort. And I and when um uh, and I believe this old and there's Norse runes written on there, and or for sure when Uta sings that song to summon the demon Top Musica, it's sung in Norse runes. She uses like Norse. We see Norse. Symbols appear when she sings. Norse. Elbaf is Norse one on one. It's, it's, it's Norse Haven. And I think the Giants may have history about not only the Sun God Nika, but also potential actual demons. Because keep in mind that when the elders were introduced, we just get their abilities. We get uh, Gyuki. We get Sandworm. We get Fang Si, the boar of Warkery, right? We get their demon names, but we don't actually get the different powers itself. So there's a chance that, you know, they could be genuine demons. And we do know that in the underworld, that is a real thing in One Piece. We know that from Brook, we know that from Zoro. That's real. So we could have genuine demons matter because a lot of things from Film Red have actually mattered. A lot of things of Loki actually mattered a lot from Film Red. It's crazy. It's actually nuts how much they've actually mattered. It's, it's, but again, it's not canon per se, but they matter so much. So I, I'm just saying, they said the movie is canon. I know. Well, the movie is partly canon because Uta is a canon character for sure. But and also Oda actually wrote the Chronicles of Uta. So again, she's also canon. But what I'm saying is that it doesn't matter if it's canon or not. The themes are there. Okay, we see a demon in One Piece film red, and there's a good chance that the demons, um, Saturn. Kaiman, Warkery, all the elders, they could be demons. It's a fact. Could be. 